Giselle Pellicott. A name whispered in horror, then shouted in solidarity. Her story, a chilling tale of betrayal and resilience. This French woman, a wife, endured the unthinkable. A nightmare that no one should ever face. Her husband, Dominique Pellicot, drugged her. Night after night, he betrayed her trust in the most heinous way. He orchestrated her rape by dozens of men. A calculated, monstrous act. Giselle, in court, faced her tormentors. Degenerates, she called them. Forgiveness? Impossible. Her strength, undeniable. Her voice, though trembling, resonated with power. She waved anonymity. She chose to stand tall, chose to be seen, heard. A symbol was born. The world listened. Outrage spread like wildfire. How could this happen? How could such evil exist in the supposed safety of a marriage? A place meant for love and trust. Giselle's story, a stark reminder, sexual violence knows no boundaries. It can happen to anyone, anywhere. Her courage, a beacon for others. She broke the silence, shattered the shame. She inspired countless others to speak out. And in doing so, she sparked a revolution, a movement that continues to grow, fueled by her bravery. Dominique Pellicot, the man who vowed to love and cherish. Instead, he drugged, he exploited, he shattered trust, he orchestrated. 50 men, 50 betrayals, each act, a dagger to the heart. In court, his confession dripped like poison. Yes, he drugged Giselle, he admitted it all. Yes, he allowed the rapes. He stood by, watching the horror unfold. His reason? A twisted attempt to rekindle their love. A delusion. A desperate plea for reconciliation. The courtroom, silent. The judge, urging decorum. Applause for Giselle? Permitted? Encouraged. Boos for the accused? Forbidden. Silence demanded. Justice demands fairness, even in the face of monstrous acts. The scales must balance. Dominique's admission, a drop in an ocean of pain. A small step. It could not erase the trauma. The scars remain. Could not undo the horror. The memories linger. But it was a start, a beginning of healing, a recognition of the truth. The undeniable truth. The truth Giselle so bravely brought to light. Her courage, a beacon. Avignon, France. A city known for theatre became the stage for a real-life horror story. The trial of Dominique Pellicot and his accomplices. The evidence, shocking. Over 20,000 photos, videos. Each image, a testament to Giselle's ordeal. The world watched, horrified, disgusted. This wasn't just a French tragedy, it was a global wake-up call. Media coverage exploded. Newspapers, websites, television screens, all dominated by Giselle's story. The public reaction was swift. Outrage, anger, and a growing demand for justice. This wasn't just about one woman suffering, it was about a society forced to confront its demons. From the ashes of horror, hope ignited. Across France, people rose. 30 cities, streets flooded with protesters. A sea of faces, united in anger and empathy. They marched for Giselle. For justice. For a future free from fear. Their message? Clear unwavering. Enough. We are all Giselle, their signs proclaimed. Their voices, a chorus demanding change. This wasn't just a protest. It was a reckoning. A nation confronting its complacency. 
demanding accountability from its justice system, from its citizens, from its very soul. France was changing. The world was watching. Section 5. Shifting the shame. Shame must change sides. A simple statement. Yet, in its simplicity, a revolution brewed. For too long, victims bore the burden of shame. Silenced. Disbelieved. Their suffering minimised. Their voices stifled. No more. Giselle's bravery ignited a firestorm. The message resonated across languages, cultures, continents. It was a rallying cry, a demand for accountability. Perpetrators, not victims, should bear the shame, the blame, the consequences. This was a call for a seismic shift in attitudes, in beliefs, in the very fabric of society. Section 6. Giselle. A beacon of hope. Giselle Pellico. A survivor. A warrior. A symbol of resilience in the face of unimaginable trauma. Her decision to waive anonymity was a radical act of defiance. Of self-reclamation. She refused to be just a victim. She chose to be a catalyst for change. Her story, though born of pain, became a beacon of hope. It showed the world that even in darkness, the human spirit could endure, could resist, could emerge stronger. Giselle became an inspiration to survivors, to advocates, to anyone who dared to believe in a more just world. Section 7. A call for support. The Giselle Pellico case laid bare a painful truth. Sexual violence thrives in silence. It festers in the shadows of fear and shame. To combat it, support systems must be as strong as the silence is deep. Survivors need lifelines, crisis hotlines, counselling, legal aid. This is a call to action for governments to fund these vital services for communities to create safe spaces for survivors, for every individual to challenge the jokes, the excuses, the culture that allows sexual violence to persist. Silence protects perpetrators. Support empowers survivors. The choice is ours. Section 8. Justice, not revenge. The protests, the media attention, the global outcry, they all point to one undeniable truth. The world is demanding justice, not just for Giselle, but for all survivors. This isn't about revenge, it's about accountability, about breaking the cycle of violence. Legislative reform is crucial. Laws must be strengthened reporting mechanisms improved, support systems expanded. But true justice requires more than just laws on paper. It requires a cultural shift, a dismantling of the power structures that allow abusers to thrive. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Section 9. A future free from fear. Imagine a world where Giselle's story, though heartbreaking, is an anomaly, a rare exception rather than the norm. A world where consent is the norm, deeply ingrained in our culture and everyday interactions, where support is readily available and no one feels alone in their struggle, where justice is swift and sure, ensuring that perpetrators are held accountable without delay. This is the future we must fight for. This fight requires courage, empathy, and unwavering commitment from each of us. We must be the change we wish to see, embodying the principles we stand for. We must challenge the status quo, pushing for reforms and systemic changes. 
we must amplify the voices of survivors, ensuring their stories are heard and respected. We must never, ever stay silent. Silence only perpetuates the cycle of fear and injustice. Together, we can build a world where everyone can live free from fear, united in our resolve. A world where shame rests solely on the shoulders of the perpetrators. This is our promise. This is our fight. And we will not back down. And we will not rest until victory is won and a future free from fear is a reality for all.